Hi everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day and another awesome vlog. Do you need to be held? So today we're going to have a fun unboxing. <coughs> we got some more toys in the mail. We got this one. Ooh. And we got that box there. Awesome. So we're getting into this photography thing. Obviously we think we're vloggers. <laughs> We do post a video every single day of our life, but as you get into this, you find out that you need different equipment for different reasons to shoot videos in ways and of things that you want to shoot and you want to try to make it look nice. Mm -hmm. Like we don't have any special lighting in here right now and I'm probably a little dark. Well, we're shooting on our Sony... HX90V. That's it. HX90V <laughs> Sony camera. So this is a little handheld um, vlogger camera that actually does a really good job until you get in low light. Or if you want to zoom or focus. Show them the noise. Oh, is it not doing it now? Of course not. <laughs> well, anyways, we've been using that camera for a long time. So we broke down, and for video, because we shoot video, we bought the Canon, the new Canon SL2 camera. So this camera is great. You can buy optional lenses to do whatever you want to do. This camera is really good. The downfall of this camera is the stabilization. Focus is great. Everything is great. Quality is great. I mean, I think this is one of the best cameras you can buy for the money for video. It is as good as the Canon 80D or any of them when it comes to video. But, you know, we go to Disneyland a lot, and I like to shoot um, model homes a lot. A lot of our videos. This one, I have to be completely stopped and steady on one of the tripods or something else to try to get a steady smooth shot so for everyday vlogging it's not that good for that if you're set up in a studio microphone and everything can't beat it all right so we decided to buy another vlogging camera so for example this lens oh, this lens here this is a 50 millimeter lens um, with a crop C, so 1.6, it's about 80 millimeters, but it has an f-stop of 1.8 to look in the dark, to see um, in low light. So our goal is this camera that we're shooting on is really bad in low light, but has great stabilization. So we decided to buy the Canon GX Mark II, G7X, G, the Canon G7X Mark II, because it is a little vlogging camera that you can keep in your pocket, has great stabilization for a nice smooth shot when you're moving, and it has an f-stop of 1.8 at a wider aperture. So especially the way Lisa vlogs, this camera is going to fit in between the needs of our DSLR and our Sony camera. I don't wish I bought this camera first with, um, before the DSLR just because I really like it. And I've solved the problem with it. But this is the Canon G7X. And if you know anything about vlogging, you'll know that a lot, a lot of people use this camera. So I can't wait to get this to Disneyland on a dark ride. Because it says it's an F1.8. And I don't know how wide it is, but I'm going to say it's 24 millimeter which is the same as the lens I have on this camera uh, but this is an f2.8 with no stabilization that should be awesome then so that was the unboxing 
of this. So we can't wait to use this. And then our other thing we got dun, 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 dun. is going to fix the problem with my DSL, uh, my DSLR, the Canon SL2 stabilization problem. Ooh, what is it? But this is not hiding that you're filming anywhere. No. <laughs> I mean, when I, when I set up this rig with the DSL on here and the microphone on here and I handhold like this and I walk in someplace, people know I'm filming something. Yep. Just the other day we are at a model home and they said, um... You're going to need to get us to sign a release for what you're filming. Mm -hmm. I was like, give me a break. All right. So in here we have a gimbal. A three-axis stabilizing gimbal. I forget that it's, it's the crane, but what model is it that we bought? All right. This is the Zihoon Something like that crane, it's called, that I can't get into, and I don't want to ruin the box. But as you can see on the picture, the DSL will sit on here, and there's three stabilizing motors when you get these balanced. I'll do another video on showing you how this works. But then you can hold your camera, and everything is perfectly smooth. So, we've spent some more money. So if you want to know what this costs, this was actually like almost with tax would be $600. Mm -hmm. Or should we tell them the story? Sure. So I went, I, I knew the price that I wanted to pay for the Canon, Canon uh, G7X camera. Yes. So I knew, oh, this is the Mark II, not yes. the Mark I. I think there's a Mark III getting ready to come out. So I knew the prices on this were dropping, but with tax, I think people are paying around um 750 or something mm -hmm. so i went into best buy they price match it with 679 in tax i think we paid right around 700 dollars for this camera we did I actually paid more for this camera than we did for this camera but wow. this one we've added more lenses and costs and right stuff like that so this here these are normally around 550 plus tax, like or yes. a little around there, about $600. About 600 So when we're in there talking to the Best Buy guy and we purchased this, I said, if you could make me a deal on this, I'll buy it. So he said, well, there's no deal on that right now or whatever, and they let us leave the store. We almost got out to our car, mm -hmm. getting in our car, and a guy in a yellow shirt, a different guy, comes running out and says, hey, he went online for you and price matched. Will you pay $3.99 for this? Yeah. And I said yes. So the next thing was, this was just on Sunday, and today is what? Wednesday? Yep. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. And this actually came in the mail. These came in the mail yesterday. Um, and it wasn't going to come to their store for us to pick up until tomorrow. tomorrow, Thursday. And it was free shipping. Came yeah. right to our house. It was wonderful. So... This, was, this has turned into a bunch of more other stuff, but this is just an unboxing video of our new toys, and I can't wait to get this set up and show you more. Awesome. So, we've had a long day, and um, I think that'll be it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you tomorrow. And subscribe.